Hello there fellow fans of Hollow Knight. In my last video where we discussed whether Nevergrave is a Hollow Knight clone, I did receive a comment from someone asking whether I'm going to be covering Deviator, another game that's recently received allegations of plagiarism. Now I'm pretty sure I've already seen quite a few creators cover this topic and a few Reddit threads, and I wasn't sure what I could bring to the table that hadn't already been said. So instead, we're going to rank instances of plagiarism in Deviator. Welcome to the Deviator plagiarism tier list! And quick disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an expert in copyright right law and I'm not genuinely advising Team Cherry engage in any lawsuits here, that's up to them. Before we get into the ranking, let's quickly cover what is Deviator. Just in case you're not already aware, Deviator is a 2D Metroidvania due to release at some point this year. It's being developed by Gammy Studio, not to be confused with the British Gammy Studio or GAMI, who specialise in bringing NFTs to video games, so a whole different box of red flags there. Deviator has recently come under fire after they released a gameplay trailer on the 19th of January that contained a lot of similarities with Hollow Knight. Like, that's way too many to be a coincidence. Many gamers were even left questioning whether it was a Hollow Knight DLC or even a joke, but no, it's a real standalone game. Deviator also announced that their demo will be available on the 1st of February, and I honestly might do a let's play to see how far the copying goes. The tagline for the game is, and I quote, exploring unknown wilderness and mysterious cities, delving into enigmatic realms of consciousness and encountering peculiar creatures. Try to find the truth behind this chaotic world. And you're probably probably wondering how the heck they got away with this. We've seen so many games in the past take inspiration from Hollow Knight, but this one is particularly ridiculous. But it's okay, because you can parry. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to be judging based on the trailer rather than the demo, and I wanted to make that clear given they may well change things based on the feedback they've received since the trailer. Okay, on to the fun part. Let's start with Green Path. No, you're not looking at actual Green Path right now. Here's Green Path, here's Deviator, here's Fungal Wastes, here's Silk Song, and back to Deviator. They are walking on thin ice straight from the start. Next up, Timu Cornifer. We have no idea if they're going to be fulfilling the same role as Cornifer, but what we do know is that they must frequent the same optician. I'm gonna pop him in Loosely Inspired because it is just the glasses right now, and to be fair, I also have a pair of glasses like that, but we're raising you higher if you do end up being the cartographer. Moving on to this character, who has a Traitor Lord style moveset, but that is quite clearly the hunter in design. I guess maybe they're more like a baby hunter given the lack of eyes and toothy details, so fine, walking on thin ice, but look at them! This particular area in Deviator reeks of lifeblood. I mean, look at the petals even- oh my god. But then there's the not jellyfish. This one is definitely copied homework, but a little bit different, so I'm afraid it has to be loosely inspired. I'm just seeing lifeblood, fog canyon, mash them together, we get this. I probably should have started with the protagonist. Like, the design belongs in OC, because despite being a faceless protagonist, there's not that much in common. At least not with the knight. You could argue that there's some resemblance with the characters in Patapon. However, the animations, running, dashing, healing, attacking, they all look like they've been completely ripped off, so we're gonna put them in the middle to keep it fair. This flying spotlight seems to function exactly like a wing mold, but it is not a wing mold. I guess they made it slightly different, so loosely inspired for the similar mechanic. Ah, yes, this boxer type boss. I might be about to make an utterly ridiculous accusation, but do you not think that they look vastly different to everyone else? The line work is more bold and the boxing ring doesn't really fit the aesthetic, but hey, at least we're trying something new. I'm just wondering if maybe this is one of the only truly OC parts of the game and that's why it looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old who pressed too hard with the pencil. Original content. You did it. Congratulations. The Deviator trailer starts with this egg cracking to start the scene, and this is a tough one because anyone who's played Hollow Knight will immediately understand the problem here with eggs, broken eggs, the Temple of the Black Egg, etc. being referenced throughout the game for very big plot points. However, Team Cherry have been pretty open about how the film Angel's Egg inspired the game. With that, despite wanting to say that they're going to rip off the plot of Hollow Knight, I can't know that for sure, and they can easily claim Angel's Egg as a source of their inspiration too, so loosely inspired. The wind tunnels to get around. While these are absent from Hollow Knight, let's take a look at the Silk Song trailer again. Oh, right. Walking on thin goddamn ice. Dr. Robotnik, how the heck did you get there? This enemy definitely looks more like something you'd see in Silk Song, but I can't recall anything off the top of my head. I don't know if it's actually in any of the trailers that we've seen, so I'm gonna be very generous and let them have this as OC. But that's only because of the setting, like the cogs? Silk Song was taking too long, so Deviator just decided to do it themselves. What do you mean this isn't Silk Song? Here's a little reminder of what Silk Song does look like. You're going in lawsuit because I'm petty and there's probably going to be someone who screenshots these areas and tries to pass them off as Silk Song leaks. 
Next up, not Geo. I need you to see how you interact with this in game, because are you kidding me? It looks like they literally lifted it out of Hollow Knight and changed the colour a bit. Lawsuit. The Muscle Man. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting something obvious, but this one doesn't feel quite as familiar as some of the other characters. My mind immediately went to a cross between the Minotaur and Hades and that weird anime dog from Full Metal Alchemist. And no, I have not seen Full Metal Alchemist. I know it's good. I'll get round to it. Is this OC? I think it's original. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. The Seer. Wait, no, that's the Looker. So the design's fairly different, but from what I can gather in the trailer, this character will serve a similar purpose to the Seer. Either way, I'm gonna have to go with Loosely Inspired. I can't can't explain it, but they both give off the same vibes. It's hard to believe that we're wandering through City of Tears right now. Because we're not. This is Deviator. It's everything from the lift design right down to how you operate it. Hollow Knight doesn't own lifts, but this is going in lawsuit. I genuinely had to do a double check because I could have sworn that this was the exact same design as the mushrooms in Hollow Knight, and yeah, it is very similar. We have to go with lawsuit because I demand justice for the mushrooms of Hollow Nest. And on to the plants. Instant lawsuit. Reddit user Alexander the Mayor did all the work on this one, so thank you. They put together this collage of, at best, traced, at worst, literally stolen from the game assets. I've got no words to add, that's just lawsuit. Okay, so the trailer has a lot more that I could talk about, but this video would just go on forever, so I'm gonna pop some more clips in here so you can make your own judgments and rankings. There is a lot. <laughs> the worst thing about Deviator is that it's a small indie team who probably just really like Hollow Knight, but they've taken the inspiration a bit too far. They clearly put a lot of effort into the game and it's a shame that they've not tried to deviate further from the Hollow Knight assets. Sorry, I had to do a deviate pun in there somewhere. The devs have been commenting on Reddit threads and even hosted their own AMA about Deviator, and weirdly enough, they do seem genuine and sincere though I'm a terrible judge of character. However, it did make me look into this a bit further. Why are there so many Chinese gaming studios ripping off other games? Well, that's a rather complex question that warrants its own video on the topic, but I'll try to summarise my findings quickly for this video. First of all, there's no international set of copyright laws, or even a single law, that applies to all countries. China has signed on to international copyright treaties, including the Berne Convention and TRIPS Agreement, but those are pretty old at this point. Technology moves fast, and making claims on behalf of your video game is even difficult in Western countries, let alone in China where they're pretty lax on enforcement. China does have protection for software programs, but not nearly as much for video games. According to Michael Wang's publication on video game copying in China and its effects on the US video game industry, the closest reference to video games and their copyright laws is for online games, which of course is only a subsection of all video games out there. This is why we see game copying as a common practice in China. There's no repercussions at the moment, it's not being enforced, and there's no clearly defined laws and procedures to deal with this. We also have to remember, copying isn't always bad. As I questioned in my last video, where is the line? Hollow Knight wouldn't exist without Metroid and a bunch of other titles they took inspiration from. Dota was born out of a custom Warcraft 3 mod, and League of Legends wanted to replicate it in another universe, and now we have many, many MOBA games to choose from, and they can all coexist in peace. The problem is when you do like-for-like -like copying or stealing assets without putting your own creative spin on it. You end up with games like Deviator that receive a lot of negative backlash, because it seems to just be a creatively bankrupt, hollow version of Hollow Knight, a game that's loved by the masses. The final product does look good, but that's because the inspiration looks good. I guess we'll find out more when the demo releases tomorrow. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.